Hey everybody, it's Josh at Walnut Ridge RV. Today I'm going to show you something um, that, that a lot of people kind of get stumbled on, uh, stumbled up on trying to pair their device with their uh, in-command system and their Keystone product. A lot of the Keystone products that we carry here have the in-command system that controls your lights and slides, awnings, air conditioning, uh, including this one which is the millionth uh, uh, unit produced by Keystone. It's the Montana you've probably seen last week where we unveiled it on, on uh, Facebook and had a, an event here for it. Um, so we're going to use this one as the guinea pig today and show you how to pair your device with the in-command system that comes with this unit. So a couple things that we need to know about this unit first. We're going to look at the screen and see um, if we have this global connect down here. That's going to make a difference on which app that we get from the App Store or Google Play. And uh, there's a few different ones for the in-command system. So we do want to make sure we get the correct one, which I've already downloaded onto my phone. Um, so there's a couple things we're going to do to get this thing connected up. First thing we got to do, we got to make sure our Bluetooth is turned on. We're going to turn on Bluetooth and on my phone it will start to automatically show you uh, the different things that are available to connect to. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the in-command system on and we're going to go to settings and we're going to hit Bluetooth pairing. And you'll see down here in the bottom corner, this is going to show you the number that we're looking for to pair with. So if we go back to my phone and we go down here to available devices, we're going to look for that in. We'll see it in there. So we'll tell it to scan. And so that way we, there we go. It comes up right here on the top. So we'll go ahead and click this and tell it to pair. And so now on here, It's going to come up with a, a, a pairing code. It's got the same thing on my phone as well. So I'm going to tell it OK that those codes match. Tell it to pair. And now the, uh, now the device is paired uh, with the in-command system. So now we can, we can go back to the home screen on here. And I'll actually open the app now for the in-command. It's going to tell it that it's connecting to the RV. Now it's looking for a passcode that I've already preset. It's the same as on this one. So now you can see we have all the controls that's on here um, to control this unit. So we can, for instance, um, we can take the uh, awning in and out, which so you can see we're controlled with the phone. So there's a lot of functions on here. Um, lights, uh, the slide outs climate control i've went over this in a previous video but this is your your hvac stuff so turn on your air conditioning um and and furnace if you need to a lot of great features on this but now it's all conveniently on your mobile device so you're sitting on your couch watching tv and you need to uh turn the air conditioner up a little bit you can if you're sitting outside and and your awnings out um it starts to rain maybe you want to put your awning in you'll be able to do that from outside you won't have to get up come in the unit um and open up uh, this cabinet, turn on the device and put it in from there. You'll be able to do it all from your phone. The nice thing about this Global Connect too, which you can learn more about it, they have a lot of great videos online. When you download the app, it's gonna give you some links to that as well. Um, but this thing is capable of going through the internet so you can actually uh, control it from, from anywhere in the world, essentially, if you wanted to. So if you're, if you're out, uh, maybe your your uh, camper's at the campsite, the awning's out, and you guys have, have went into uh, somewhere to a restaurant to eat or something, and a, and a storm's coming in, you want to put it in, um, you should be able to do that as long as you have the, the proper internet stuff in the camper and and, uh, and signal on your device. So just a great feature of it, and, and hopefully that helps you getting the Bluetooth connected. I know a lot of people struggle with it, and um, I actually did. This is the second take on this video. Worked flawlessly the first time second time it did not so hang in there if you have some problems when it does connect it works great so any questions you can uh you can visit our website we have a lot of great videos on some of the features of the in command already on there that i've done and then this one will be posted on there too you can watch it later on uh, if you need to so that's it thanks